Hello Internet. You join me in my kitchen today and you're sort of thinking, Adam, you don't do kitchen videos because you're not a chef. You're right, I can barely even cook toast. However, what I can do is settle online debates. Now, on the I Just Want to Bang forum, uh, like two or three weeks ago, I'll put a screenshot somewhere down here, there was a, a, a big conversation uh, people going whether or whether or not you should use ferrules, fer ferrules, fer whatever the hell you want to call them. Um, and uh, that, that, that got me thinking, what is the best way to do it? Now, some people were saying that you shouldn't use them at all. The best way to do it is to connect straight to the copper of the wire. Um, other people were saying you should use ferrules uh, because it makes it a bit tidier and a bit safer and you can take it in and out a lot easier. Now, there's not going to be a correct answer. However, I figured this video might be entertaining so you can make your own mind up because uh, without, you know, proof, you've just got people on the internet. I'm aware I'm a person on the internet. Anyway, so the way that we're going to do this is quite simple, really. I have here a uh, Soundstream Rubicon board. Now, this thing weighs an amount of an amount of weight. This thing weighs two point eight kilos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test how well each one squishes in the terminal. So we're going to have. Uh, the ferrule on its own, which is pressed by the terminal, we're going to have one completely unferruled thing, excuse my fingers, I've been working on the van, and we're going to have the uh, third one, which is the ferrule which has been clamped in a um, cable squisher. What's that called? Cable squisher. Sod it, we're going with cable squisher, can't remember what it's called. We're going to put it through a series of tests, see how well it compresses, how well they uh, stand up after, you know, let's say, I don't know, 50 threads in and out, all the way in and all the way out. Um, and then we're going to drop test them. So I'm going to be uh, literally just seeing how many times I can drop this thing full weight just on the cable and see which one holds on best. So from here out, I'm not going to talk a whole bunch. The video will do it for me. However, like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be useful. Watch the videos. part of the test is to simulate how many times you are going to put this cable in and out of your app. So in extreme condition, let's say we're going to do 50. So I'm going to put the thing all the way down, the screw all the way down, all the way up 50 times on each one of these cables and we're going to see how they fare. So at this point the torque setting on the drill is enough so I can just hold it with my hand. That's what we're going to go for.
I'm interested to know what it does take to rip a feral off a board or a board off a feral. Whatever. I'm gonna try and pull it off. Long story short, I weigh if you're in England, fifteen stone. If you're in Australia, ninety six kilos. If you're in America, about four thousand pounds. And um I'm going to hang off it. Now there is of course a very good chance that the ring terminal at the top could let go first. I'll put some T-Rex tape around it. Not sure if it's going to help. Probably not. But never mind. Let's see if a single feral that's already come loose can uh, could hold £4,000 of Adam. Now I'm aware my workshop is currently an absolute mess. However, I'm in the process of building a van. So that happens. I don't think this is going to go well. That's insane. So as it turns out, in terms of strength, contact area, um, reliability, ease of use, uh, repeatedness of use, the, uh, the ferrule that is clamped in by the terminal is by far the easiest thing to do. Now a lot of people are saying that it's just it's an extra step. I don't like putting a, a ferrule on because of, uh, I don't know, it takes a few seconds. But you're going to save so much time the next time you want to just plug your amp in because you've got a ferrule on it. You haven't got to piss about with all the little wires that you've got straggling around on the outside. It just looks neater. And frankly, this just held the best part of 100 kilos worth of me. I'm actually going to use them. That's it from me for another day. If you've got any more car audio myth buster type things you want me to check or make a video about, drop them in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe, rate, high five me, OnlyFans. I don't have OnlyFans, don't worry about it. Have a nice day. Take care.